Why are we arguing right now? <laughs> I want a horse. <laughs> So this is the field where we're thinking the horse could go, but there's a couple of problems with it. This is eight by 12, but the problem with this is it's too short. It's just not high enough. This is only, the space from the ground to this header is only five foot three. So we're out here to see if we could build an awning off our shop building here for the horse to stand under in place of building another shelter. So Laura and I just had a big discussion. I'm just not on board with building a roof here attached to our barn building. This whole area is just a mudslide. So then it's like, well, maybe we need to build a freestanding structure. And then that's obviously more money. I've actually already tried to make the decision and say, no, nope, this isn't good for our family. This is not what's best for us. But here I am out here wondering if it's possible. We're gonna do it. We're getting a horse. So let me just summarize the story. First, it was, yes, we're gonna get the horse. Then it was, no. Then it was like, we could do it. Then I was like, no way. Then Laura was like, please. And then I was like, okay, we'll do it. Yesterday, Laura and I came up with a design that we just made from scratch, trying to satisfy the needs of the horse as well as trying to be as frugal as possible. And the design that we came up with here uses two by fours. And then we got this galvanized steel roofing and the hardware, I'm all set. It's gonna be great, what could go wrong? Safety first. The day's already about half gone, and all I've been able to complete is the length of the top and the bottom of the structure. And I've been sistering two by fours together to basically create a four by four. You can also see that we're gonna be using an interlocking pattern for the joints. So the posts are gonna sit right in here, and then I'm gonna nail them together. That's the plan. Lunch time. Okay. What do we got going on here? We have some butternut squash from the garden. This will go to the pigs. So I'm not worrying too much about picking it completely clean because what we don't eat will get turned into bacon. Oh, and the broth is from, it's chicken stock I made from our chickens. So we have a very homegrown meal here. That's what I like to see right there. <laughs> Day two of building the horse shelter. Laura's coming out to decide where this thing is gonna live. Morning, sheep. Morning. Hey, sheep. Originally I was thinking it would go just right here, right next to that one and just look like kind of an addition. So I was thinking right here. Just kind of in the middle. Because it's nice and flat here. I just don't love it being in the middle of the field kind of. Let's look at the corner. This is more dry than over there. It would also kind of help hide this corner, which is not very attractive. Are you saying my corners aren't attractive? We're thinking right here is the winner. 
Well, I mean, is that okay? You said it was too wet. Is it too wet? Do you think he'd rather be over like next to the sheep? You think he'd be more comfortable over there? What do you think? This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> We're very indecisive. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna go right here. Just a quick dose of homesteading reality. Here you can have this beautiful morning. Breakfast was delicious. Look out the window and your animals are brutalizing each other. They just went to town on the backside of this chicken. Not sure why. We have a nice, safe, spacious coop and run. I don't know, they just got bored and decided to kill one. You're a murderer. You're a murderer. How do you sleep at night? Murderers. I got the base of the structure sitting on some concrete blocks. I just want to show you the interlocking pattern we have for the joints. I'm going to put some nails right in here, and then the uprights are gonna sit right in here. Before I attach this, I wanna make sure there's enough space here for the upright to actually fit in. So I've got a piece of two by four here, and you can see it's, it's a little tight. Let's just see what happens if I just scooch this just a little bit. I think that's good enough for me. Had my joint wrong. Threw me off. Elliot's here to help, and perfect timing too because I need some help holding the posts while I secure them to the base. Can you help me with that? Yeah. We got our first board up and we're putting on our second one. Our interlocking joints are working. They're working much better than I thought they would. You can see how they're slipping in there. Hey, <laughs> Don't touch the nails, buddy. Benji, no more nails. All right, so we have the uprights in place, hammered in and temporarily secured to the base so we don't get any wobble. I don't know how I'm gonna get up there. We are very ladder challenged here on this homestead. So this is agonizingly painful. But of course, I put them in wrong. This is supposed to sit on here. I have no idea why I didn't think of that before I nailed them in. So, I'm gonna have to bang this out. This is how it's supposed to look, where this piece is resting on the outside of the base. This looks much better. Don't do this part at home, but it's okay if it's a homestead.
So just got done with lunch. I realized I made another mistake. I'm looking at it from the window and I forgot to cut down the rear posts shorter so that the roof slants. So I have to bang this apart again, take the posts inside, unsister them, make the cuts, sister them, and put them back up. Since I have to bang it apart anyway, might as well take the fronts out. I'm gonna cut off a foot. So this will be a nine foot tall structure with the rear being eight and a half. Just a little bit of slant, that's all we want. Ouch. Ow. So I made another mistake. Nine feet, eight and a half, you have six inch difference and that's the slope of the roof. I was listening to something, I got distracted and I ended up cutting all of them down a foot and a half. So no slope. These 10 foot two by fours, I'll just cut them to nine and a half. Not nine and a half, nine. I can repurpose these for the, the ceiling joists. So all is not lost, just the daylight. At the end of the day, literally speaking, more or less where it was several hours ago, the interlocking joints came out really well. I think that's the biggest success of the day. It has been one thing after another so far. I can only imagine what the roof will be like. Today is day three of the build. And the challenge today is we have a snowstorm coming in in, I don't know, three, four hours. So it ought to be fun. Juliet, what is it? Look. Yeah. It's Got wool falling off. This is my first time using joist hangers. If it doesn't look right to you, it's because we're dealing with the angle here. So we don't want it flush with this uh, beam here because we want the roof to actually go all the way off. That made sense, right? Just trying to get these hung before the snow starts falling. And I think I'll call it a day. I'm really enjoying hanging these joist hangers. You see this little thing right here? I'm gonna tap that in and it actually holds the joist hanger. It's awesome. I love that little feature, it's really great. So these joist hangers, they come a little wide, so you kinda have to pinch it in. I'm so bad at, at this terminology. I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just making all this up as I go. Got all my joist hangers in place and I'm just waiting for those snowflakes to start falling. Another fun fact about the design, we decided to get 10 foot two by fours, knowing we would have to cut them down. These are gonna be repurposed for those cross support pieces, you know, to support the posts and the, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm saying. Joists, ledger, base, leaderboard, header, footer, pattern. It's like uh, Lincoln Logs for adults. Done. Heading in for lunch. And the snowflakes are just starting to fall. I don't know if I'll make any more progress on it today. It doesn't make sense to do the roof with snow coming. The beautiful wife is busy at the stove. Love it. Not watching the kids. <laughs> the two littlest boys, William and Ben, have locked themselves in the bathroom and only dad can get them out. Or maybe I'll leave them in there for a while. Oh, Ta-da! Oh, 
Hey guys. <laughs> First snow of the season. Same job, different day. I think the first thing I'm gonna do today before putting the roof on is to cut cross pieces that'll go in between the joists right in the center just to give our panels just a little extra support in the middle. One thing I should definitely know by now is to always close the gate. Ah. Hey, come on. Go, get. Come here. Get, 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 get. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, get up, get up. Hey. Ah. Hey, Ben. You wanna help me get the sheep? Got some green. We can go get the sheep. Hey sheep. There they are. Here they come. Ah. Ah. Sorry. Tricked ya. Better. These knuckleheads keep knocking over their water. So, I'm just gonna let them out. All right, that's it for the cross pieces. There's nothing else to do except put the roof panels on and hope everything lines up right. <laughs> what did you make? Snow chair. Are you sure it's a chair? No, that's a good one. It doesn't have any plumbing? <laughs> Actually, I'll make, I'm gonna make plumbing. First panels going up. I think it's good. I think it's lined up where it's supposed to go, right on the joist. It's good. What are you going to do with all this? I wasn't able to get the cross supports here in the corners to really make it rock solid. I'll get to those eventually, but I don't think we need another day of filming for that. When the roof is on, it's done. Thanks for watching. It's been an adventure. Hope you enjoyed it. What are you going
All this freedom. 